And welcome back everyone to another video, of course, we have it, this is it, Zanja has finally been revealed, it's kind of a bit of a blow since they leaked it last week with the artwork, we knew it was coming, next week is probably going to be uh, Drazar, so it's going to be, they're the going to go into a nice little duel-esque type of formation, hopefully, so you can put them against each other on the tabletop, and they look really, really awesome, a lot of people have actually speculated that maybe this is going to be a uh, an actual box set, where Dark Eldar and Eldar find each other. And then people said, well, if that is the case, then you can take them as Eldara, and it's basically not a box that find each other. It's actually a full-on army, so it's going to be worth it money-wise if they do that. But that again, that is just all theory at this moment in time. But for the model itself, I actually really, really like it. I think it. I think it's a fantastic model. I know I'm not very, very friendly to the Eldar community. Um, I want to purge all you Xenos point ears and stuff like that. But I do think it is a fantastic model. I think they've knocked out of the park. It's way better than the um, the previous Phoenix Lords one, of course, because it's been updated and it looks all fancy and stuff. Hopefully. Hopefully, this is the start now, and more Phoenix Lords will be getting their updates and stuff like that with the Psychic Awakening. I absolutely love what they're doing with the Psychic Awakening. The whole narrative sounds awesome so far, and of course, if for each book they're going to be releasing, because we do know that the first book is called um, Phoenix Rising, um, hopefully... They, they they carry this on, so characters will be given to each army, um, new units given to each army and stuff like that. So, fingers crossed, they carry ho this whole process on. Now, the article gives us a little bit more information. It says, that's right, Zanzar is back and is more incredible than ever. As a Phoenix Lord of the Howling Banshees, Zanzar is a, sp a spiritual mother to all who follow in her path by dedicating themselves to her warrior aspect. So, basically, this is like, I won't say the Primarch, but like the head honcho, like the chapter master of the... A certain aspect of the Eldar for those of you who are new to the lore. I'm actually still learning Eldar lore. I know the basis of it, but I, I don't know like the full in depth of it. At the end of the day, they they basically birth to God because they like to touch their own nipples. That's all I really know about them. That's all I really care about them. So it says Zanja, uh, the news miniature, embodies the lethal grace for which she has become renowned and feared across the galaxy, as well as sweeping her deadly glaive, blade of destruction, in decimating strikes. She is poised to whip her right arm around and her her legendary tris tr trisle click. <laughs> Is that how you pronounce it? Silent death. Her feet aren't even touching the floor as the miniature is held afloat by her floating mane. It is. There we go. Look. That is one strong bunch of hair that is holding her up at the moment. Um, I, I Again, I actually really do like the pose. The pose is a very, very action-y pose. Like, leaping through the air. Of course, the hair has to be touching the ground because we can't just have them hovering. We don't have that technology as of yet. Sure. Maybe in the future. But, um, yeah, I think it's great. I think it's a really, really, really great model. And again, something I've noticed about the GW bases that they've been doing a lot recently is that they've been making bases where there's a lot of ruins on it and stuff like that. It normally started with the Age of Sigma and stuff. They had like these real cool looking bases and they always said, do you know what? I really wish GW would do that with our characters and the more and more characters we're getting now the more and more fancy s bases we're getting with them. So yes, I really do like uh, those rubble bases. Please keep doing it GW. With the article we also get a little look into uh, the rules as well. This is called Storm of Silence. It says, on the battlefield, Janzar fights even more aggressively than before if such a thing is even possible it says for Kane's most prolific blade master that's in the, the brackets swapping her own disarming strike ability for a more uh, thoroughly slaughterhouse replacement the storm of silence so this is replacing her order ability again I don't really know their uh, Eldar so I don't really know the order ability was the order ability any good was it crap was it amazing uh, you Eldar players will sure let me know in the comment section hopefully so the storm of silence when this model is uh, is picked to fight instead of using its attack characteristics you can in instead make a number of attacks equal to the number of enemy models within two inches um, of it as uh, after they pile in uh, and the moves have been made. Oh, okay, that's pretty cool. So if you think you're like you, you're basically going to overflow her and like um, just you know just surround her and like you're going nowhere, anything within two inches, she's just going to match you with your models. So um, depending on what her stats are, again, there's there's no information 
on what her stats are, you know, what strength she's are, you know, what the AP is for the weapons. That could be very, very deadly. So maybe this is something that you don't really want to get into combat with. Or if you do, then you're probably going to get want to get into combat with one of your character models rather than sending a horde of people at it because it could be um, a very, very um, disadvantaged thing for you to do. At the bottom of the article, it says um, the incredible new miniature of Zanja will be on its way soon. This is the thing. When is soon? Define soon. Soon TM. Are we talking Eternal Crusade-esque soonish, where soon is basically never? Or are we talking like, you know, a month's time? We know next month is going to be the Space Marine stuff um, in October. So uh, we're getting the uh, Salamanders and the Imperial Fist stuff. November is more or less going to be full-on sisters. So uh, are they going to try and f squeeze it in between sisters and the whole, you know, last portions of the uh, um, Space Marine supplements? It's going to be very interesting to see. It, the way everything is pointing that, it's definitely going to be out before this year. So um, it's going to be interesting, like I just said, like where the hell they're going to do it. Surely not November, because November is going to be completely dedicated to the sisters, because as I've mentioned a numerous amount of times, that is a full range refresh that is you know um everything in the sisters is getting reimagined and of course they're going to be adding new stuff to that as well so i can't really see them fitting it in around those uh those chaps so for me it has to be october a lot of people say yeah but what about december december you normally don't get like big releases because they try and make you save your money around that time so you can invest in like uh these cool little battle force boxes and stuff like that um so yeah we we, sh we shall see very very soon it goes on to say uh with her being soon um as as were her nemesis and we all know that is going to be drazar because of course like i said they more or less spoiled it for themselves by posting the artwork which i'm, I'm so happy for you know i'm not complaining i love it thank thank you for giving us a heads up uh who could who could that possibly be question mark oh yeah who could it be? It would be hilarious if it was Fulgrim or something, and they just completely bamboozled us. You'll have to tune in next Monday to find out. Until then, why not pick up the triumphant of Yenad, uh, the spearhead of Yerinari, war host in preparation for Zanjar's arrival? Well, you can probably do that if you're an Eldar fan. Not for me, because you are vile vile Xenos, and I shall purge you all. So today has been the Zanjar reveal, and next week is going to be the Drazar reveal. Hopefully I'm pronouncing these names right. I'm sorry. I, I know it's Eldar. Don't, don't expect anything more from me. This is what you get. It's, it's, it's as simple as that. Right, that is me done for another video. Thank you for coming. Thank you for watching. What do you think? Do you love the model? Do you hate the model? Do you think it's met your expectations? Were you expecting more? Do you like the pose? Do you like the hair flowing mount? esque stand let me know what you think in the comment section down below and we'll have a nice little chat as always down there thank you for coming thank you for watching i'll see you all very very soon see you now and bye bye